but that's quite impressive. Oh look, it's like a staircase. Let's have a look. So in the last video, we were talking about William Beckford and how he built Font Hill Abbey. Now, William Beckford was quite a, an eccentric character and with Font Hill Abbey, he built it with doors that were 38 feet high. To accentuate how big these doors actually were, he employed a dwarf as a doorman so that when visitors did come, although they didn't come very often, when the door was opened by a dwarf, it would create the illusion of these doors being even bigger than they really were. Oh, well, that's quite cool up there. Let's have a look. So this would be one of the grottos that William Beckford built on the estate. In the late 18th century, around that period, it's quite common for grottos to be built on estates. Grottos and follies. They didn't tend to have a specific use other than just a an art form, something to look at. Just something to, to make the landscape pop. But that's quite impressive. lovely view over the lake as well. It's almost like a it's almost like a stone tree house. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Little rooms inside look. That's really quite cool. I'd have loved this as a kid. What an amazing place to play. Oh look, it's like a staircase. Let's go up. Great view from up here. Okay, let's carefully, carefully go back down. How many of you would like one of these in your back garden? Kids would love it. It's like a little building out of Lord of the Rings or something. Holes 
underneath, but I don't know what they are. I don't think they go anywhere. No, they don't seem to go anywhere. Let's look in this one. No. Okay. Let's carry on exploring. <laughs>